Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen, and welcome to the Presidential Rank Award Ceremony. Please stand for the arrival of the official party. The Honorable Kathleen H. Hicks, Deputy Secretary of Defense, and Honorable Michael B. Donnelly, Director, Administration and Management. Please remain standing for the singing of the National Anthem. Oh, say can you see by the dawn's early light what so proudly we hailed at the twilight's last gleaming whose broad stripes and bright stars through the perilous fight or the were so gallantly streaming. And the rocket's red glee, the bombs bursting in air, gave proof through the night that our flag was still there. Oh, say does that star-spangled Please be seated. Ladies and gentlemen, Honorable Donnelly. Well, good morning. Welcome, Madam Secretary, distinguished guests, Presidential Rank Award winners, and families and friends and colleagues of the honorees present today. Thank you all for joining us. Well, we gather today with both old and new business. First, to recognize the Presidential Rank Award winners from 2021, when public health conditions did not permit a large indoor gathering. That's the old business. New business is to reestablish this year the department's tradition of a formal ceremony hosted by the Secretary or Deputy Secretary of Defense honoring DOD's finest executives. Being selected as a PRA finalist involves an extremely rigorous and competitive selection process. Senior executives have had to be nominated by the head of their agency. Nominations were reviewed by internal panels of high-level executives, and some were further reviewed by panels of private citizens. Only 1% of career executives within the federal government may receive the Distinguished Rank Award, and only 5% of career executives are eligible to receive the Meritorious Rank Award. And there were background checks before the final step, approval by the President of the United States. Thank you all for your incredible leadership and your service to our nation. Our distinguished host for today's ceremony knows a few things about leadership and service. Deputy Secretary Hicks launched her career as a civil servant in the Office of the Secretary of Defense, serving from 1993 to 2006 in a variety of capacities, and rising from a presidential management intern to the senior executive service, and has returned at least twice in more senior appointed positions. She shares with Secretary Austin an unflinching commitment to tackling DOD's most pressing challenges as we defend the nation, take care of our people, and succeed through teamwork. She has walked the walk, upholding the highest professional standards, and is fully vested 
in the important work you, as leaders, are charged to accomplish. Ladies and gentlemen, please join me in welcoming the 35th Deputy Secretary of Defense, Dr. Kathleen Hicks. Good morning, everyone. Thank you for joining me. And my record of public service holds no candle to that of Honorable Mike Donnelly, uh, former Secretary of the Air Force and uh, DA and M now twice, um, the ultimate public servant. Um, I really want to welcome all the visitors who've joined us, the distinguished uh, uh, visitors and guests as well. We know, all of us, that these awards recognize superior individual accomplishment and achievement, but we also know that no executive achieves such a tremendous honor on their own. So I'd like to offer a special word of thanks to family members, friends, and colleagues here today and those who are joining us otherwise, who have in countless ways continued and to contribute to the success of the honorees. I know I speak for these honorees when I say that without your support, they would not have been able to reach this pinnacle of success in their important work. So we thank you for all you do to enable their continued pursuit of excellence. It's my honor to be the host of this year's ceremony. It has been three years since the department last had one. And I'm glad to be with all of you here in person to acknowledge the contributions that each of the recipients before us today has made to national security. To each of our 30 honorees, congratulations on this exceptional achievement. Being selected for the Presidential Rank Award is the most prestigious and highest possible award for civil service. Even being nominated for this award is a significant credit to you and demonstrates just how much confidence your organization and your leadership has in you and how much they appreciate all that you've done in defense of the nation. The road to being selected as a Presidential Rank Award recipient is not an easy one, as Mr. Donnelly has pointed out. Each year, the President recognizes and celebrates a small group of dedicated career senior executives and senior professionals across the government who consistently demonstrate outstanding leadership and accomplishments over multiple years of service. Serving in a career leadership role here in the Department of Defense requires strength of character, integrity, resourcefulness, and a relentless commitment to public service. This is especially true in our dynamic operating environment, given our critically important mission for the American people and with the unanticipated challenges we face. And to lead during the COVID-19 pandemic presented a novel set of challenges that no one could have predicted. It is fair to say that the Department's success during such challenging times is due in no small measure to the extraordinary leadership efforts of today's Presidential Rank Award honorees. As a former career SES, I know how hard those honorees work, how seriously they take their roles, and how deeply they care about the Department and its mission. Each of them has gone above and beyond to ensure the department advances its current priorities and builds a department that is ready and able to defend the nation. They've transformed their teams and modes of operations to be more responsive and effective. They're reshaping the workforce and pioneering new hiring and, tech and onboarding concepts to recruit and retain top talent. They've ensured a safe workplace during the COVID-19 pandemic. They're building coalitions and demonstrating outstanding leadership to advance innovative concepts and capabilities for deterring conflict. They're instituting management reforms and launching new programs to ensure the department is prepared for the future. And they're making sure we remain accountable to the taxpayers by leading the department to a clean audit, decreasing costs, and eliminating waste. And these are just some of the examples of the wide range and deep impact of our honorees' outstanding work. For all of these reasons, and many more, we come together today to honor all of those who were awarded the Presidential Rank Award. To those here in person, as well as those who were unable to join today, thank you for your service and dedication to the Department of Defense and to our nation. And our congratulations is to you for a job well done. At this time, we will begin the recognition of our winners for the Presidential Rank Awards. Please hold your applause until all recipients have been recognized. 
the 46th President of the United States, Joseph R. Biden Jr., has recognized the following individuals for sustained extraordinary accomplishments in management of programs of the United States government and for leadership exemplifying the highest standards of public service, reflecting great credit on the career civil service. Recognized 2021 Distinguished Executives are Thomas M. Muir, Director, Administration and Management. Recognized 2022 Distinguished Executives are Kara L. Abercrombie, Office of the Undersecretary of Defense for Policy. Frederick D. Moorfield, Jr., Department of Defense Chief Information Officer. Please join us in congratulating the Distinguished Executive Winners. The 46th President of the United States, Joseph R. Biden Jr., has recognized the following individuals for sustained superior accomplishments and management of programs of the United States government and for noteworthy achievement of quality and efficiency in public service. Recognized 2021 meritorious executives are Christopher R. Ba M. Barnhurst, Defense Information Systems Agency. <laughs> Stephanie P. Miller, Office of the Undersecretary of Defense for Personnel and Readiness. Recognized 2022 meritorious executives are Elizabeth A. DeRoss, Cost Assessment and Program Evaluation. John G. Fiore Jr., Missile Defense Agency. Mark S. Spillman, Cost Assessment and Program Evaluation. Please join us in congratulating the meritorious executives. Recognized 2022 Meritorious Senior Professional are Dwight H. Sullivan, Office of General Counsel. Stephen M. Wallace, Defense Information Systems Agency. Recognized Meritorious Defense Intelligence Senior Professional is Thomas W. Geyer, White House Military Office. Please join us in congratulating the Meritorious Senior Professional winners. Thank you, Honorable Hicks and Honorable Donnelly. We would like to acknowledge the achievements of the recipients who were not able to join us today. Please hold your applause until all recipients have been recognized. The recipients are, for 2021 Distinguished Executive, 
Joseph R. Noguera, Cost Assessment and Program Evaluation. Peter F. Verga, Office of the Undersecretary of Defense, Intelligence and Security. For 2022 Distinguished Executive, Monique L. Dilworth, Office of the Undersecretary of Defense, Comptroller. Amanda J. Dory, Office of the Undersecretary of Defense, Policy. William D. Mays, Missile Defense Agency. For 2021 Meritorious Executive, James H. Baker, Office of Net Assessment. Robert E. Easton, Office of General Counsel, Defense Legal Services Agency. Andrew S. Mara, Cost Assessment and Program Evaluation. Donald J. McKenzie Jr., Office of the Undersecretary of Defense, Comptroller, and Defense Contract Audit Agency. Virginia S. Penrod, Office of the Undersecretary of Defense, Personnel and Readiness. Robert G. Salasis, Washington Headquarters Services. For 2022 Meritorious Executive, David W. Bennett Jr., Office of the Undersecretary of Defense, Research and Engineering, Defense Advanced Research Projects Agency. E. Scott Castle, Office of General Counsel. Robert A. Edwards, Office of the Undersecretary of Defense, Comptroller, Defense Financing and Accounting Service. Michael V. Sorrento, Office of the Undersecretary of Defense, Personnel and Readiness, Defense Human Resources Activity. For 2021 Meritorious Senior Professional, Walter S. Chai, Office of the Undersecretary of Defense, Research and Engineering, Missile Defense Agency. Edward I. Richards, Office of General Counsel, Defense Legal Services Agency. Please join us in congratulating the recipients who were not able to join us today. At this time, will the award recipients stand and face the audience? Please join us in giving today's recipients a round of applause. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Honorable Donnelly. Well, thank you for joining us this morning as we uh, have celebrated the accomplishments of these fantastic uh, senior executives. Uh, we have benefited so much uh, from your individual accomplishments uh, and the support of the teams that you brought here to cheer you on today. We're delighted to have had all of you with us uh, in reestablishing this annual presidential rank award winners. Uh, congratulations again to all the honorees from both 2021 and 2022. One more round of applause for our honorees. Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, this concludes this afternoon's ceremony. Please rise for the departure of the official party. You are cordially invited to a reception being held in the entrance hall outside of the auditorium. Escorts to exit the building are also available outside the auditorium. Thank you very much for sharing this special occasion with us and recognizing the accomplishments for outstanding leaders in the department.